If I had a dating app, what would my bio be? Hello? Okay, DTF, down to f How is it like living with me? What do you mean? You're never home. All right, guys, so my name is Michelle Marquez D. My birthday is April 24, 1995. I am a Taurus, so my sun is in Taurus and my moon is in the Aquarius. I currently stand 5'10 and my shoe size is 9. <laughs> I think my first memory of happiness is when I first tried Coca-Cola. <laughs> I was young, I was addicted to it. I got UTI multiple times just because I would ask or manipulate my yaya to give me a glass, not even a glass, a mug, a beer mug of Coca-Cola. This is definitely not sponsored also. I think my dream job, so far from what I do now, I wanted to be an astronaut before, or a scientist, or a marine biologist and dami. But if anything, I really think that I would love to be a film director also, or a creative behind the camera. Of course, it's pasok pa rin naman because it's not what I do now but it's something that I would love to pursue in the future. Other than everything I mentioned earlier too. The biggest risk that I've taken is probably joining Miss Universe Philippines 2023 again. For all of you that don't know, I joined last year in the 2022 edition. I won first runner up and was awarded Miss Universe Philippines 2022 tourism. So that was fun but that is why I'm also extra pressured this year. I have to be better. I always strive to be greater than my last performance. I don't compare myself to anybody in particularly, but I compare my own performances to myself. And at the same time, I'm also taping for a teleserie, a mega serie actually, Mga Lihim ni Orduha. Being able to juggle those two around, it is a risk. I think what's important here, the lesson behind all of this is that if you really want something, you're going to have to make a couple of sacrifices. And for me, it's short-term fatigue for a long-term investment in myself. I can already hear my future self saying thank you. I'm grateful for just everyone around me. I, I love appreciating just small things that contribute to why I am the way that I am. Of course, I'm also very grateful for food. I mean, I'm a foodie, so I appreciate good food, so I love that. What do you wish people would notice about you? It's a very good question. I actually really want to address this because it's a common misconception. I really wish people could see that I'm not so matare on the outside. I'm not as intimidating as it may seem. I know I have very distinct features that make me look aggressive. If you have any suggestions on how to look friendlier, just comment it down below. But, you know, I really wish that people could just see right through the facade and see that I actually do genuinely care about people. I'm such an empath. Anything that's shared to me, I really take it to heart and I feel like that's why I love acting is because I'm so good at putting myself in other people's shoes and feeling what they feel. And that's actually the number one rule in psychology when I was in La Salle still studying it. When you're giving somebody advice, always put yourself in their shoes and never invalidate their feelings and never compare. What is my all-time favorite snack? It's not baduy naman, but my all-time favorite snack is actually Pinoy food. Sinigang is what I love. Adobo na medyo malapot yung sarsa. And I know they're not considered snacks, they're considered meals. But if I see it, I will munch on it. Then it becomes a snack. How would I describe my perfect day? I guess I'll just take that literally right now. A perfect day for me is being able to wake up at any time that I want and sleep in because I am so short on sleep right now. Like I said, you're gonna have to sacrifice a few things and what I am sacrificing now is a good night's rest. I hope you feel that. I really just need sleep. I'm somebody that has this hero complex, right? If somebody's in danger, I will be the one to save you, except for when you're up against a cockroach. So going back to the question, what is the weirdest thing I've eaten? It's probably, you know, those fried cockroaches in Bangkok <laughs> that I was dared to eat. And I kid you not, I vomited after, but at least I faced my fears, which I will never do again. Okay, my personal motto, Everything in life happens for a reason. It's either a lesson or a blessing. I live by that, I breathe by it, and I feel like it gives me purpose even if I'm struggling in life. What is my life's calling? You know, that's a really good question. 
I've always wanted to build a platform to really help other people achieve their best self. And that goes with my business side, my showbiz side, most especially my pageant side. I don't think people realize that the reason why I joined pageantry isn't for personal gain, but it's really to build a platform to help people and inspire people and motivate people. Because in doing so, in helping you guys, all of you, I feel like it really helps me also. It gives me a sense of purpose. So hopefully, I can share that love to more people. What am I feeling right now? I feel really happy, really grateful. I just shot a series of videos today, uh, work-related, Miss Universe-related actually, but I am very grateful because I have such a supportive team around me and without them, I wouldn't be here standing because like I said, I really do have a busy schedule now. It's just, I'm so grateful. Gratitude is a very important thing that we have to practice everyone. If I had a dating app, what would my bio be, hello? First of all, I don't have a dating app. Just my Instagram DMs, char. If I did have a dating app, it would be... Nerds only. Adrenaline junkies are welcome. Uh, I'm attracted to... Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm attracted with looks, but personality will make me stay. Bagay ba yun sa bio? Parang ang boring kung tao, no? Okay, DTF, down to feed. <laughs> What's different from then and now? How far back was then? You know, I'm constantly evolving. Everybody constantly evolves. But I'm just gonna put this in the context of before becoming a public figure. I have never been in comfortable in front of the camera, actually. I've always loved being behind the camera. That's really my safe space. That's where I'm comfortable with doing. I'm just a creative, but prior to actually being a public figure, I was so chill. Like people always comment on my calmness and my chillness, but that's just who I am. I'm not trying to be boring or anything. I guess it's just how I was brought up. I always think before I speak, I'm trying not to offend anyone. I'm more of a listener, definitely, than a talker. It's still something that I do now, but of course, since I'm more confident to be in front of the camera then I'm able to just talk to you guys without being so conscious. Confidence is definitely what I'm trying to get at right now. Best books that I have read? Okay. Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fucky Mark Ronson. Atomic Habit by James Clear. The Law of Divine Compensation by Marianne Williamson. In the Company of Miracles by Regina D. So that's my grandmother. I love those books. Oh, and The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Ah, uh, you're living with Rian? How is it? Honey, how is it like living with me? What do you mean? You're never home. Don't listen to her. Etches lang yan. Watch her vlog next time. Oh, but you know, living with Rian is amazing. What is my pet peeve? Um, okay, so this is more on my business side. I hate inefficiency because I am such a perfectionist. So the people that I try to surround myself with are people that are better than me in specific aspects of my life. If I kind of see that you're slacking around, then that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. I also hate being late. I know we're from the Philippines and Filipino time is an actual thing. It actually is a thing, but I just hate being late. That's something my mom taught me is to be either early or on the dot on time. Oh, and another pet peeve I think is when I see other people disrespecting those around them. I think that's so important that we treat other people the way that we want to be treated as well. There's no hierarchy no matter what social class you're in, A, B, C, D. You just have to be kind to everyone and good karma will reward you. Next, when I have the capacity to have my own creative direction. I actually don't like looking so posy. So I do love giving off that candid feel, just so it's more organic, it's more film-like, but chamber quality pa rin. My first job, oh. Okay, so when I was still living in Utah, Annabelle, Utah, very paper town, town in Utah. <laughs> My, my parents actually taught me early on the value of money and the value of working for what you want. So I think my first job was mowing the lawn or feeding the horses or feeding the dogs. 
and then I'd get paid like a dollar. My workout routine, <laughs> pain and time. I really need more time to work out these days. Who are you at your core? In my core, I am Michelle D because I'm not like anyone else. And nobody is like anyone else. Pero etchas lang. I, th I really believe that my core is all about kindness, goodness, seeing the best in other people. And of course, I am a go-getter. I am a risk taker as well. And dami kong sinabi, no? I think I really just want to live life to its fullest. Whether it's experiencing as much heartache as I can and experiencing anything that can make me happy as well. I just really want to enjoy life and whatever life throws at me that's good and bad and everything in between. Message to my fans, my lovely MMDverse, my defenders, everyone that's been with me since day one and who have hopped onto my journey ever since. Before this whole pageant journey, I really didn't have plans to join, but it's because of all of you screaming and telling me about my potential that it was so loud that I couldn't ignore it anymore and I was forced to really see the potential in myself also and that's because of all of you so whatever I do now I dedicate it to you of course to my family and my support group as well so that's actually the end of it but enough about me I have a question for you what what do you think about me how do you think I can better myself what are the qualities you don't like and don't want to see I love constructive criticism, so just let me know. I'm an open book, ready for your answers and ready for all of you guys. So you can just comment that down below. You know where to find me. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time.